guys and welcome back to now I know today let's talk about difference between somatic cell and germ cell now we have the basic concept of fertilization right in humans we have a sperm that fertilizes an egg giving us a zygote and we also know that the sperm and egg that means the gametes are haploid that means they have only one set of chromosomes they fuse together to give us the diploid zygote and this will undergo rounds of cell division right mitosis this cell will divide into two then four many many you know there will be many rounds of cell division so eventually we are going to get lots of cells and all these cells are going to differentiate into specific different cell types finally giving us the complete organism human being me or you right and all these cells are of course diploid now we also know concept of cell differentiating into specific cell lines like uh, we'll have endoderm mesoderm ectoderm and other than that we have germ cell line so all these cells they differentiate into different parts of our body let's say for example some set of cells differentiate in digestive system it makes up our digestive system some part of cells would develop differentiate and develop in lungs you know respiratory system some cells would differentiate into brain cells eventually giving us the whole body that means all the cells in the body so all these cells that are produced that is making our body is called somatic cell okay so somatic cells the term soma means body so all the body cells are called somatic cells except for this germ cell line that i just talked about okay because this germ cell line this germ cells differentiates and develop into gonads these three layers or all the cells develop into all different cell types and all different tissues that we have in our body but there will be specific set of cells that differentiates into germ cells which further differentiates to produce gonads right and gonads for males would be testes and for females ovaries so the cells that are produced in our gonads the cells that are produced in testes and ovaries are called germ cells okay these are the cells that are present in the gonads so there are basically two types one is the somatic cell that means all the body cell types are somatic cell and the germ cells are present in gonads now the germ meaning seed this makes a lot of sense you know why they are called so this germ cells eventually we know that testes and ovaries uh, through gametogenesis produce sperm an egg right and sperm and egg eventually will fuse and give us a new organism so they act as seeds they give us seeds gonads testes and ovaries gives us sperm and egg that is like seed for us so germ cells are the cells that are present in the gonads they are termed germ cell because they are giving us sperm and egg now this was just the basic differentiation between somatic cell and germ cells right now i'm just going to list out all the points uh, simultaneously so that way it will become easy for us to understand we'll see what are the basic difference between both of them so let's put somatic cell one side and germ cells on the other side now as i said the term soma means body so all the uh, cells you know that differentiates and make our body tissue are the somatic cell okay all these cells that make the body tissue simple enough to understand all the cells that make the body tissue except for the germ cells okay? so germ here as i said means 
seeds so they are the cell that makes gametes so germ cells makes gametes right sperm for male egg for female right so germ cells would make gametes and somatic cell make all other tissues of the body all other uh, cells of the body are somatic cell only the cells that make sperm and egg are uh, germ cell now we are diploid organism we just saw that right so that means all the somatic cells are also diploid makes sense all the cells in our body all the somatic cells in our body are diploid that means 2n which means we have two set of chromosomes in all of our cell one comes from mother one comes from father all right and what happens in case of a sperm and egg they are haploid that means they have only one set of chromosome makes sense right egg or sperm we just saw here egg or sperm and they have to be haploid if they want to give us a diploid zygote if they want to give us a diploid organism now here i want to emphasize on one point students saying that uh, somatic cells are diploid and germ cells are haploid right you might see that we even wrote down the point over here but you need to understand one difference very well that germ cells are the cells that are present in gonads so the germ cells that are present in the gonads if it is for male it is testes as i said and for female it will be ovary that will undergo the process of gametogenesis to give us if it's a male we'll get sperm and if it's female we'll get ova right so it differentiates to give you sperm and ova it's not that germ cells to begin with they are haploid no germ cells to begin with they are diploid and you know there will be meiosis and you will get at the end four gametes produced from one single cell and those gametes will be haploid right very important point to clear up it's very easy to understand you know except for germ cell all other cells are somatic cells that give rise to all types of tissues in our body all uh, all the cells would be somatic cells soma means body and there is a set of cells that would be germ cells that differentiates in the gonads so gonad cells are actually germ cells right and each germ cell is diploid they undergo the uh, gametogenesis they undergo the meiosis process to give you gametes sperm or egg which is haploid all right so the gametes the germ cell product would be haploid that means it have it will have one set of chromosome and as i said that makes sense because we need finally diploid organisms so they have to be haploid they fuse together to give us the diploid zygote since we just saw that somatic cells are the body cells right so somatic cells cannot it cannot transfer the genetic information isn't it these are the somatic cell it has nothing to do with reproduction so they are not going to get transferred so the genetic information from somatic cell cannot be transferred to uh, offspring and that's why if there is any mutation let's say for example in a somatic cell they are the body cell let's say for example there is a mutation in you know brain cell let's say for example in brain cell there is a mutation the offspring of this person will not have this same mutation because it was in somatic cell the offspring is going to be fusion of sperm and egg that is the germ cell right so the person would not have the mutation the uh, next generation will not carry somatic cell mutation okay so mutation that occurs in somatic cell will not be transferred to the offspring and we understand very clearly why so on the other hand if you think about uh, uh, sperm and egg they very well are involved in transferring the genetic information right so they transfer the genetic information we get a uh, 50% of our chromosomes from father and 50% from mother so we inherit whatever they have in their sperm and egg so if there is uh, any mutation in the germ cells there are chances that the offspring also would be affected 
right and the reason is because if if there are uh, if there is problem in germ cells finally it differentiates and give us the sperm and egg so it is possible that we might have mutation in sperm and egg and when it fuses to give zygote that mutation would be carry on to the offspring right that is because they carry the genetic information and the last important point is how they divide somatic cell we know divide by the process of mitosis now we have talked about mitosis and meiosis in one of the previous video the differences so somatic cell 2n somatic cell they just needs to multiply that means they need to produce exact replica of itself so one somatic cell will undergo mitosis to produce two daughter cells which are again diploid in case of germ cells they will have they will follow meiosis right where they start with a diploid cell forming four daughter cells each would be haploid okay egg or sperm whatever it may be so these are the basic differences between somatic cell and germ cells so that's all these are the differences between somatic cell and germ cells so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i will see you next time until then keep learning